Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the Gem family. What I have here is an early, um, early model year 2000 Chrysler Gem. I bought this car with a bad charger. Had to, had the um, the Zyven charger in it, and uh, it did not have any life left in it. So um, I decided to get the Delta Q charger. Delta Q charger is programmable, so if I decide to change the batteries down the line. I can program it for that specific uh, battery type and uh, I don't have to send out my charger for for any programming to uh, to the programmers out there or if it's programmable. I, I think it is. I, I heard it, it was programmable, but this thing is much easier to program. You can program this yourself and uh, there are instructions somewhere on YouTube on how to do it. But um, the only problem with this charger was that this charger does not have the same connection for the uh, the interlock wires that went into the charger. So um, I've asked around and I looked on YouTube. I did a lot of digging online. There was no no information anywhere out there on how to do it. So. Um, did a lot of testing. I did uh, download a bunch of uh, wiring diagrams online. And with that said, I figured out that interlock is nothing but a switch. It's the same exact switch. It reacts the same way as the char uh, as the e-brake switch. So when you pull the e-brake up, op opens up that switch and there's no power going through either the switch or the uh, interlock. So, wired that directly, works perfectly fine, but I still wanted my charger to work the same way as the other one, meaning with the interlock. So when it's plugged in, I don't want the car to move. Say my child gets on it, while it's still plugged in, the car will start riding. So I realized doing some testing that this puts out a nominal 72 volt power and this actually is connected right now to the uh, 72 volt to 12 DC converter that converter does not get any power if the charger is plugged into the electricity onto the wall like for example right now it's working perfectly fine because it is putting out the 72 volt output but if you, if you plug this thing in, you can hear the charger make a little click. And now, there's no power. Therefore, interlock works beautiful. Now, I'm gonna leave this thing on. Unplug, unplug it from the wall. You'll hear it click. And boom, works beautiful. That relay, it's not for the interlock. That relay is for the power that goes to the lights and all of the other stuff. But that's gonna be on another video because I replaced it the 72 volt DC to 12 with uh, e with a $28 Amazon uh, $28 Amazon uh, DC converter. So uh, that's gonna be on another video and you see a bunch of other crap that I installed. That's going to be for LED lights and so forth. Anyway, peace out.